Hi everyone, Brad here, and in today's training, we are going to be going over the way in which you can price the cost of an estimate. Um, so in the last video, we talked about just the actual technique and skill set of cold calling and door-to-door -door in general. This video is actually more for like management and the general manager and just, this is something you do at the start of the year is you need to figure out based on your last year's data, how much you can afford to pay per estimate. And this is how you build up the whole compensation plan with regards to uh, not just door to door, but just in general, how much can you afford to spend per estimate that's generated in the company, regardless of what the channel or the, mar the piece of the marketing mix that's attracting that lead. So uh, yeah, this is not a tremendously long video, but we're just going to go through the actual math. So this video is for marketing managers, basically. And um, we're going to cover how to price the budget that can be spent per estimate. Uh, we're going to go also go talk about just compensation structure, so how that gets built out based on what we figure out for the cost of a, an estimate. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to do a couple examples, and that's pretty much the whole thing. And through these examples, then you can take this, if you're watching this video and you have your own painting company or you're running one of the franchises, you can look at your past data and you can just do this for yourself based on how I'm going about this. So in this example, let's say we want to have 5% um, of our revenue for the whole year going towards marketing. Um, our pet, let's just say, for example, that the average job size from the, from the year before, and if you don't know these numbers, you can just start making guesstimates, basically. That's what you have to do if you're in year one or two or you don't know your data. Um, but yeah, bear with me, use this as an example. So say we wanna have a 5% marketing budget. We have an average job size in the particular city or territory that we're, we're uh, building the business is 4,500. The company's average sales ratio, let's say is 35%. And let's say we wanna spend, we wanna be paying our marketing team, so door-to-door -door marketers, $15 an hour. On average, we can expect, let's say, um, that we're getting about a lead or an estimate every hour and a half that we're in the field marketing. So the question is, with this information, which is information that you hopefully have, uh, how do you actually figure out the cost you can pay for a qualified estimate? So think through that for a second, and then we'll actually go and look at the result, how I would go about this. So in this example, if we want to spend 5% and we know that our average job sizes are 4,500, that means that basically we can spend $225 to get that $4,500 job. So if we know that 35% of the estimates we do, um, we're, get, we're, we're able to get an, an actual booked job, that means we can, if you take 225, which is the amount we have to budget, and you times that by the 35% sales ratio, that means we can spend up to $78 per estimate that we're generating in the business. And if you kind of take out the amount that it costs for the actual hourly for the door to door, so if an hour and a half, it's gonna cost us $22.50 to just for the hourly wage for the door to door, that means if you minus the cost per estimate that we can afford, we can afford to pay up to $56 per estimate um, and that would, if we, if we were to do that for three estimates, we know we're going to get one job and our marketing budget would come in at $225. So in essence, I can afford to pay $56 per qualified scheduled estimate on top of the $15 that we paid out hourly to the door to door marketer. So this is all an estimate based on my past data and what I'm anticipating. And as I grow and I learn and I gather more information, I can get more and more clear on this. But at the start of the year, you really want to go through this process to see where you guys stand as a business. And basically, that's what you're going to be able to put in your job posts. And I can't even really post jobs online to like attract marketers if I don't know what the compensation structure is going to be. Because this is a big, very, very big attractive point, right? Based on these results, if I'm looking at this, you can afford to pay pretty good. So a marketer that's earning $15 an hour plus 56 an estimate and they're getting an estimate every hour and a half, they, that's, you'd be doing very well as a marketer. You're making $50 an hour if you're well-trained and you know how to do it, which is what the job of the marketing manager is to do, is to train the team to be able to deliver these types of results. So 
with this kind of an average job size and this kind of a sales ratio, basically this is a very good job for someone if they're good at this skill. Um, so with that being said, I would now write up my job post and I'd be able to actually market how much I can afford to pay and sell this as a feature of the job. So let's do another example. So a marketer goes out for four and a half hours and books three estimates. So let's see the math assuming we're paying $50 an estimate. Okay, so um, four and a half hours times $15 an hour. So they're going to make $67.50 as their base pay. And then they're going to make an $150 for each based on the three estimates they generated in their shift, in their session. So the to total marketing spend, so how much the marketer earned for the evening was $217 in four and a half hours. That's pretty good. If you actually divide that out, let's see, 217.5 divided by 4.5. So that marketer would make $48.33 an hour for their four hour and a half hour shift. So the marketer, would, from this, the marketer, we can expect they will book, or we, we can expect that our team is gonna book $4,500 off of this job. And if you do the math again there, $217.50 divided by 4,500, that's 4.8%. So very healthy. Um, I'm totally okay with spending 4.8% to get a $4,500 job, right? That's, that's, that's a really healthy amount to spend on marketing for a painting company. So this example, however, would not be accounting for other marketing efforts. So it's important to decide where, how much you want to be spending as a whole for your marketing expense as a line item on the balance sheet or on the, on the P and L, sorry. So um, I would probably try and budget for my door to door team, probably more like 3% or three and a half percent towards that one tactic. And then I'd want to spend another two or 3% on various other tr tactics like putting up signs and passive passive marketing efforts and you know buying branded clothing and stuff like that and i think this year i'm going to be targeting to do i want to have about a six and a half to seven percent marketing budget as a whole with all the different marketing channels so um next thing we'll just touch on is the compensation structure so we want to have a base salary and commissions. And the reason we don't want to just be 100% commission is because with the nature of door to door specifically, um, it can have very skewed results. There can be evenings where people go out for like three or four hours and get no results, like no estimates set up. And there's other evenings where they'll go out for three or four hours and get like nine, seven or to seven or eight or nine estimates set up in one night. So in order to kind of counter those nights where you get zero, you want to have some sort of a base pace so people don't feel like they're wasting their time. So it really has to counteract the actual emotional side of it. Either way though, the compensation structure, you need to build it so that it, it ends up averaging out to the percentage that you want to be budgeting for that tactic. So um, you want enough base compensation for the gaps, but knowing that the, the real money is in performance. So people are getting really making money when they actually perform in their in, as a cold caller and, and master the art. So let's do another example. So example two here. So we let's say we want to have a compensation plan of 3.25 of revenue is going towards this tactic of cold calling. So if you're following along, you would do this, but what is the average job size in your business? You'd need to know what is the sales ratio in your business. So you would use your past year's data. And with just that, those three things, you can basically figure it all out. So say 10 estimates come in for scheduling, how much can you pay per estimate? And note, every business is different and every year or even quarter, you're gonna numbers are gonna change. So you wanna really keep on top of this and recalculate this in reverse every season based on your actual business numbers. So that same example. So if we know that last year we booked 121 jobs and we know that we booked $674,000 in six, uh, of, of revenue and we estimated 274 jobs, from this I can get all the data that I need. So you don't actually need a lot of information. You just need to know your basics from the year previous. So let's do the example now putting in all of our information. So 
door to door goal, we want to have a target for three and a half, three, three and a quarter percent of revenue. We know that the average job size for the company, we would just divide total revenue by the amount of jobs that we booked, which was 121. So now we know that the average job size for the year was 5,575. The sales ratio, we would divide our total estimates by, or our jobs that we booked divided by the amount of jobs we estimated. That gives us our sales ratio of 44.2%. And then uh, we know that we want to spend 15 bucks. We want to be paying and compensating $15 an hour as a base salary for marketers. And we know that we can on, this is a, I think this is fairly conservative, but on average we can expect at a minimum to get a lead or an estimate every one and a half, one and three quarters of an hour. So based on this information, which I'd say is actually quite conservative, especially that bottom one, how can you go ahead and try and do this? If you have a pen and paper with you right now, go and just calculate this right now. How much can we pay per qualified estimate using the information we have right here? So pause the video and just do that. Okay, so um, if we take that average job size, that's 5,575 times how much we want to spend as our budget. That gives us $181.20 that we can spend as a total to book a 45 to book that job, to book the $5,500 job. So if we have a sales ratio of 40%, that means it's going to take us about two and a half estimates to book the job. So we times 181 times 40%. And we can spend $72.48 uh, per estimate that we're doing. So if you take the base pay, so now we have how much we can spend per estimate. We need to minus out the base pay to get that estimate. So it's going to take an hour and 45 minutes to get that estimate. In, and we're paying 15 bucks an hour. So that's $26.25 to get the estimate. And that means if we minus the 72 minus the 26, that gives us $46 that we can pay out to our marketer per estimate on top of their base pay. So I can afford to pay $46.23 per qualified scheduled estimate on top of the $15 paid out on hourly to door-to-door -door marketers. So that kind of gives me the top end of what I can afford to pay. Uh, you might want to be a little bit more conservative because you don't really need to pay someone I mean, that, that would be $60 an hour. If somebody's booking at that rate, that's quite quite good. Um, that's like $55 an hour or something. That might be a bit high for the job, but that's what you probably could afford based on a three and a, three and a quarter percent um, budget off of revenue. Yeah, so a marketer goes out for four and a half hours and books three estimates. So let's see the math, assuming we're paying $40 an estimate. So four and a half hours, they'd make 15 times $15, that'd be $67.50 as their base pay. They'd make, uh, if you're paying $40 an estimate, they'd make 120 off the estimates. So the total marketing spend would be $187.50. Uh, and this fr and from this, we know that we'll, we'll on average book a $5,500 job. So if you divide 187 by, 5,575, 5, your marketing spend comes in at 3.4%. Totally reasonable and really good deal for the marketing team. So th I, this is a really good win-win. So this is how I really feel into the whole thing. I'll, I'll take the time, do the math, and then I'll look at it from both ends. Is it a good deal for the company? Is it, and is it a good deal for the marketing team? And then from that, I can get excited and be like, all right, we have a sweet, this is a sweet job. And now I can focus on culture and training my guys to get these results and, and meet these numbers and improve these numbers, right? Ideally, by next year, I would love to get the sales ratio for the company up to 50%. And then I'd like to get our average job size even higher. Then I can afford to spend even more on a marketing, on a lead and per, on an estimate. Um, yeah, from this, a marketer will earn $41.66 an hour with lots of room to improve their performance, right? Most of the time, like a, a, an estimate every hour and 45 minutes is actually not very good. What you're really looking for is pretty much a lead and an estimate every hour. Um, that's a strong marketers get one estimate per hour, so which pushes their wage up into like the $70 an hour range. Really good deal, really good. Um, I mentioned this in the last video, but really good cold callers make more than pretty much every other position in the company, um, just because 
it's you can afford to pay it right um yeah so um additionally once you know these numbers you can put take the these numbers and you can put them into the employment agreements and then when you hire someone you'd have them sign off on whatever the compensation plan is and from here you are ready to go ahead and build your marketing team so action items for you at this point is look up your data points from last season so if you are if if you're running your own business or if you're one of if you ran your own territory look up all your data points from last season at, or use the best guess for your marketplace if this is the first year in business um, take the t you need the total number of jobs you need the total revenue booked and you need the total number of estimates completed with three, these three numbers you can backtrack and calculate all this stuff so once you have these three things number two you can calculate your sales ratio and you can calculate your average job size number three you can decide what amount you want to spend on door to door marketing so what percentage you want to spend uh, I recommend seven percent six to seven percent if you're in year one um but for the door-to-door -door segment i'd say like yeah six percent maybe five five or six percent uh then you have to decide on the best compensation plan to use i recommend um mostly having it weighed towards uh commissions but you know 15 right now it's 2021 the end of 2021 uh, so you probably 15 bucks an hour for the base salary is enough and then you really want to weigh it heavily onto the actual incentivization based on commissions uh, next calculate the budget available per estimate uh, in commission not including the hourly hourly and then you have to just go train your team so <laughs> once you have all this information you can write it into the employment agreements and get out into the market and start delivering like a pro that is the end for this video and we'll see you in the next one.